Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Malachite in Princess of Darkness. And last episode we took Constantinople, so we're getting closer to reforming the dream. And uh, we're also pretty good on piety, so we're probably gonna make another child this episode. We're just, we just gotta find someone good because we've only gotten one like famous person in this campaign. We usually get more by now and I mean those are great for making children, but if we don't get get them then... I guess we have to use common people. But we're also waiting for this truce, which is up in five years. So we can take the rest of this area. And then it's just Thessalonica left that is an actual hurdle. Because they actually have quite a lot. They have a fairly strong ally and they have a lot of troops. But they don't have that many champions. So I think we should probably be fine as long as we bring in some, uh, some allies. Because, well... We do have a lot of troops, but 2,000 of those are rats, so it's kind of inflated. So are our allies' troops, where 3.9 thousand are rats, but they do have other, um, other man-at-arms, so it's still good. But the most important part is we have a lot of champions among us. So we're just gonna un- oh wait, actually. Before we unpause, we have two events in our court. My vassal Baron Zenobius has excelled during our recent battles and my court is buzzing with excitement that an accomplished Hetaria, what a role model, what a man. With all praise raining down on him, it is made clear that I am expected to officially reward him in some manner. Okay, so what's your deal? He's, he's not even good. And he has, he has a temple. What, what is he complaining about? Come on. Eh, well, we'll speak well of him. Hey, that's a bunch of prestige and I don't need him to be happy with me. So that's fine. Uh, he is the new lord of the county of Rodopis. Rodopis, no. I'm not gonna give him a bunch of money. I don't need to be friends with him. He's, he's a nobody. Who's his... He doesn't even have parents? What the shit? Um, okay, I... I guess he's so insignificant, he doesn't even have parents. Like, the, the game didn't even bother generating a family tree for him. So, we'll speak well of him and just bank the... Oh, I guess he got the prestige. Ah, whatever. I didn't want to pay, for, uh, pay for, for his stuff and... I didn't want to give him stuff or a county either, so... Anxiety not... Knots my stomach as jealousy rears its ugly head. I sigh. I sigh and glare at the cause of my misery. I know I ought to be thankful for our guest Arsenio's appear appears to get along with Mycon. Yeah, Mycon is our son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he is a guest. I mean, he's not bad. Uh, you wanna... Like... I wanna recruit... There we go, he recruited to court. Yeah. You're a champion now. Good on you. And we will... Whatever the re relationship might be, I'll stay out of it. Hey, they're for closer to forming friends. That's good. And now, I don't know if that was actually... If he's even in the top... Yeah, he definitely is. He was 21, so he is our top four. Eesh. We need better champions. Oh, and we can actually do something about that. Because we have a lot of money and we can just invite a bunch because now we actually have an income of prestige we couldn't really do this before because we had this is the first time we have had a excess of prestige and it's it feels great so uh yeah we can unpause now just let some time pass and what do you do okay of all the buffoonery i have ever seen in Count Cassius, inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbor, my good-for-nothing chancellor, cha chancellor has officially acknowledged Pharaoh Andreas Egyptus' claim to the county of Vratza. I'm not too worried. That's mostly snakes. Some fairies, but... And your ally... Oh, wait. No, that's just some little guy. Yeah, that doesn't matter. He is not a threat. I... Shit happens. Don't worry. Oh, too many duchies. Okay. Um, 
where is most of my stuff? Well, we are still gonna want to control Constantinople. This is its own duchy, is it not? That I don't control. Um, yeah, so Moesia. We have a lot of stuff there. But we only have one county in there. So I guess we give uh, Moesia to someone. Who though? Who gets to be a duke? I guess someone who definitely will stay on the council. Because they're going to be a powerful vassal. So we don't want them to be mad. And I want them to like me as is. So I'm probably going to give it to my... My... Uh, uh, religious guy. Uh, I guess this would be an easier way to find him. There he is. He is my heir. He is my chaplain. And he likes me. Which is the most important part. So grant him the title of Moesia. Our first. Oh wait. Ooh that's. It costs us a lot of money. But it will. Uh... Oh no. Okay that's okay. He's better. Um. Oh, and our... He got a spy master as well. That's annoying. It is gonna... Make people like me better, because... Well, having too many duchies... Was going to... Make people really mad. But I think that's the best one. Because, I mean... Constantinople has to be... Our best as soon as we get the control here. But... Oh! We gave him... Tarnograd with that as well, I guess. Right. Man, I forget how these things work. Oh well, that's okay. That is not a problem. We, we're gonna get new ones soon anyway. Is these any good? Eh, this one isn't bad. I'm gonna get rid of that one probably though. I'd rather have prestige than levies. This one is pretty bad. And that one is pretty... Terrible. Oh, that that's the one, but yeah. So, when we conquer this, this is probably the one we keep. The rest are going to other people. So, speaking of other people, let's, uh, let's go and hunt some uh, potential children. Find some mortals, and I guess clergymen. Or let's merchant, because we do have a lot of money. We can spend money. So, anyone decent? Oh, you're not too bad. We could use use you. Because our spy master isn't, isn't great. He is our son, but... This will be our daughter. She's a craven, so she's not gonna fight. But that's fine. I don't need her to. Because she's never going to. But let's embrace her. That's fine. And we haven't hunted much in this campaign. I guess that's fine though, but it's unusual. Yeah, let's turn this up again. And we can work off some stress, but we're absolutely fine. And I guess, guess you, that's fine. Go away. I already, I already voted. That's fine. Oh, that was another that was another election, and that's fine. Low control in Byzantium. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's the control over here? Yeah, that's good enough. This is we do have some control stuff, right? Don't we? Yeah, we do. Good. That's a pretty good one. That's a lot of prestige. I like that one. Um Development is too low, eh? And it is lowering because of the oppressive blood tax. Okay. I guess that has gets to be off for now. We are switching you to Constantinople. Yeah. Because we don't need you to do that anymore. And that's 11 years. Damn. That is 
That is taking a long time. So let's uh, let's keep converting a little bit then. How about you? That's fine. We are gonna have to convert Byzantium as well or Constantinople, uh, but we can do that later. Because as of right now, it's not too bad. I mean, the we do get some negatives from this, but it's not a big deal. Let's just speed up until we get the next thing. There we go. The embrace is done. I have orchestrated events, blah, 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 embracer. And we can almost get another one. Secret revealed. Oh. I look down and see that my cat Trevor has dropped a scroll at my feet. Sealed in my Hetarius Arsenio's distinct style, giving in to curiosity, I skimmed the text. Keeping the secret weighs on me. Okay, so... I think we just... Leave it be. It's... Who cares how we hunt? We don't need to... Well, that was not so bad. I mean, it's bad, but... It's not gouge your eyes out bad. It's kind of just looks like she's old and wrinkly with... I don't know, with some blushed skin or something. It's fine. Oh, she actually get a... A potence of 11. So she's still not gonna be a... A champion, but that's fine. Let her... Let her figure it out. And if she gets any kind of boost to... Oh. Okay, we can just pay for pay for the exposure. Uh, your child still has human ties, friends, family and such. As for most young vampires, it's very difficult for her to let them go. Obviously, you know better and these feelings are better kept under wraps as the masquerade is endangered by rash actions around mortals and you often make rash actions with your loved ones. Perhaps it's time your child learned to let go of the past. Uh, let let her have her dreams. Yeah, so what, what I was saying was, uh, like, if she gets any kind of um, intrigue boost and we need to pay for it, and then it's done. Because she's probably going to be our spy master. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about a tourney hosted by my wife. All my Hataria chair as Queen Eliadora Sof Sofida announces the tournament in her honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney... Attorney Day stuck to a throne, however. Uh, so. We can. Uh, this is the perfect chance to give Zoe a few pointers. Oh. So we can give her some. I guess some uh, combat traits. So that really doesn't matter to us. And we can make every Hetaria gain opinion. But let's just take the prestige. We need prestige. Oh, and speaking of which, we invited a bunch of champions. Yeah, sure. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it was it was a turban. <laughs> I just looked at that and thought, well, that's some weird ass hair, but yeah, that's a turban. Uh Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Yeah, you get to join too. It is, I have been corresponding with the Chancellor, Count Cassius, and it has been shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. I don't really care. Oh, is our... No. We have the truce, he doesn't. He can attack us whenever he wants. No, wait. Oh, no. There's our flag. I'm used to it being there, but... Yeah. The truce is still there for three years. Education. Ma matter of faith. Yeah, we've seen this one before, and... I want the piety. Um, we can take the stress, because we have ways to mitigate that. We can... We should always pet Trevor, by the way, so... Pet your cat. I found Trevor outside, strutting around the yard. As soon as she spots me, she meows and, sa and saunters over, rubbing against my leg. I spend many minutes crouched by her side, petting her and scratching her under the chin. And when I stand back up again, I feel lighter than I have in a long time. Oh, how nice. It's only seven stress, but you should always pet the cat. 
And then we work on some stress. I f sometimes find it hard to find a mo motivation to remain consistent when exercising by myself. Um, I could try to find myself a partner who, who then would not only motivate me on bad days, but could also be someone that I can com compare myself to when tracking my own progress. What kind of companion would suit me the most? Someone I can look up to, someone keep me on my toes, or perhaps someone who I know I should never aspire to be. Um... Uh, Marcus Decinius, I hate him, but we could form a friendship, but I don't care. Watching Zenobia struggle will be motivating. Who is that? Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, let's go with, let's keep him around to see what not to do, because apparently he is completely incompetent. Tempered by humanity. It's not a big surprise that despite, despite my teaching, your child has been tempted by via huma, human, humanitatis. I don't know what that, how to pronounce that. Humanitatis. Uh, whatever. It is, after all, the easiest road to follow for a neonate and try closely to walk in the mortal's footsteps. You are planning to stage a grand show of faith by uh, by not interfering with humanity for the coming months as, a, as proof to the child of of the truth in the matter, or you could just let it slide. We're grounded. Our youth will be youth. I mean, I'd rather we have... Oh. County of Byzantium gets... Nah, it's okay if she has the wrong religion. She's not gonna be a... Uh, be a... Uh, I always forget what it's called. The chaplain. She's never going to be a chaplain, and I mean, she still likes me fine, even though we're the wrong religion. So, it's not a big deal. It is time for the presentation. Behave yourself in there. Very good. Impressed vassal. The presentation of your child to the court is going well. Nothing really out of the ordinary, except apparently genuine goodwill she earned from one of your powerful vassals. This small show of diplomacy can be levered to your advantage, either toward vassal or your child. Well, they're both my child. No, wait. Oh, it, <laughs> this looks looked like um, one of my kids. Uh, like that guy. But no, this is... Uh, this is my, my daughter-in-law. Of course, my child. Speak, speak with my blessing. Or I choose, chose you well, child. Well, I'd rather she, she has a good opinion of me than of my child, so... She does like me a lot, though, but... Yeah, that's gonna go away. She's gonna be mad at me eventually. So let's just make her stay happy with me for now. And apparently she did pretty good. So let us see if we can find any good alliances. I would like to give her a county first, but just gonna scout a little bit, see what's, what's Available, we already have those. That's my grandson. That is in my my kingdom, yep. That is also in my kingdom. You, you're different. No, that is also in my kingdom. Never mind. How about you? No, that's the same one, almost. And we've come to the only level is no champions part of the tour. So there are no good alliances, I guess. Powerful vassal wants. You're not powerful. How dare you? You're not getting any anything like that. And uh, he's not a powerful vassal, so... It is fine to just give this away to my... All right, she's our steward. So we're not gonna change that away, but you are slightly better. It's just 20, 20 from firing him. So it's a little bit better. It's not a big deal, but why not? Oh, so who are you fighting? Can you take this alone? It doesn't seem like it. No, definitely not. 
You're gonna... Yeah, you're gonna get destroyed, dude. Hmm. So this is mostly me, then. Against... Yeah, I think we lose this. And this is... The claim on Orvieto. So, yeah. We we're gonna lose that alliance. That's unfortunate. Oh, and we need to cover up the masquerade and we gotta use money again that's fine oh we only got one tick that's unfortunate plush and exotic carpet a plush carpet carpet vibrant and soft arrives as a gift from count Kyriakos. why he would send me such an exquisite gift i do not know but the fine weave of the carpet is pleasing to the touch as the skin of a lover are you trying to kill me because that sounds like a sneaking rug I don't trust it, but you do really like me right now. You're a little bit disappointed, but you do like me. All oh, right, I'm not your direct leash anymore, so that would be a reason. So I don't think he would kill me. So let's grab the prestige. That's an extra prestige each month and I mean, like, how do I look up my, oh, we get, get a bunch of bonuses from our cat. I wish there was a way to see my, my scheme resistance, maybe, because we have a bunch of scheme resistance in, uh, like, right here, so we should be pretty good. We're probably fine. My daughter-in-law, Countess Catherine of Montpellier, had insulted me gravely. She had the audacity to name me a brooding churl in front of my court. I should not ex have expected better from someone associated with you, but this is unacceptable. Well. I really don't want to be attacked by this guy. Because we know what happens. But we do have better champions now. And more of them. But. Okay. So. Whatever it takes to make this well again. We pay some money. We pay, pay prestige. And everyone likes me better. We can plead for your forgiveness. Or make her plead for your forgiveness publicly. Which makes him happy. She loses opinion and spends prestige. Yeah, so... You like me quite a bit, so we can probably lose 20. That's fine. Because I don't want to make him matter. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was quick. And we lost that alliance, so... Why wouldn't you join my court? I feel like you should. Although I'm not sure we want you in my court, but I want my I want my child back. <laughs> so but I can't invite you to court though. No, she's at my court. Oh, they're at separate courts. That's fine. So she's back. I can't make you make you divorce, eh? I guess that's not in our religion, unfortunately. That's okay. Oh, now we can form hybrid culture. I guess we weren't ready to last. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, that's a problem. So we can form a hybrid uh, hybrid culture. I was wondering about that last time, but I guess we didn't have enough uh, enough acceptance. But we do now. Okay, so rally our troops. Oh, dang it! That's no good. I wonder if we can uh, 
just find someone to ally you away for, from me. That is not in my realm. That also have champions. No, that's... Dang it. I guess not. But we should be able to hire our holy order. Did it? Yeah, there they are. Um, let's... Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get rid of that rally point and get rid of that rally point. And raise all there. Okay. Start like that. Can we beat this? Come on, let me check their champions. Okay, probably if we if we get to separate them a little bit. Because they they are in the mountains. So they're sieging in the mountains, which means we would be the defenders. Oh, and they're, now they're leaving. Okay, so they really haven't done anything yet. These guys are on their way. Who else are on their way? Didn't we have an alliance here around here? I guess I guess those died or something. Where do you live? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, so Yeah, okay, he's pretty terrible. Yeah, and those are both my allies. Hmm. I guess we're pretty alone in this. Not well, not alone alone, but we do not have a lot of allies anymore. We need to Get on that. But this is just for County of Threaded, so it's not the end of the world if we lose this. But I still would very much like to win this. So, yeah, they're all moving over there now. Just wanna catch someone. Because we. I do think we have better. Or at least... Yeah, we have the same amount-ish champions, but... Seems like we have slightly better champions. Okay, so they are separating. And we are getting reinforcements over here, so maybe we can... Intercept these guys. Go and fight there. Because I think we can catch them. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. That is terrible. Shit. Okay, we might lose this. <laughs> this is bad. Troublemaker! No, go away. Okay, so maybe we get some mercenaries. We have a lot of money. Oh, and everyone is already hired. Oh. Okay, I guess we don't get any mercenaries. Hmm. What do you want? Lately, I can't, I can't help but notice the gaggles of giggling maidens and unusual austere warriors gathering in the dark al alcoves to listen enraptured to a book. Today I have finally cornered Staurai Staurakios with the book in his hands. Despite the cover suggesting a pious book of prayer, it is a uh, licentious novel written centuries ago by a pagan forefathers. There is a beautiful maiden, pirates, temptations and lustful pages upon pages filled with unholy desires. I am silent while I ponder the problems and probable reactions of court chaplain uh, Domentian and Staurakios stares at me in apprehension. Purify them with fire! Um, so we can gain a bunch of stress. And 
some people will be happy. Can get confident lover or make someone a little bit happy. Now let's let's just purify it with fire. Burn it. It's a heretical text. Okay, I don't have high hopes for this this war because well we lost a bunch of our allies and they got more allies. Who are you? Oh, this is, oh, come on, this is Akia. So it's all of these. Hmm. Okay, so how do we win this? Don't know how we would win this. They definitely have a stronger army. And we got an unfortunate fight in the mountains because I came a little bit too late. And let's see if we can... What's gonna happen here? This would be beneficial first. Oh, wait. How are they defending it? Oh, because we hit them first. Oh, that is some sneaky tactics there. I thought we could get in there, but yeah. So they're defending in the mountains. Oh man, this is this is bad. Now, is there really not Okay. If we go like that, then we would be defenders in the mountains. Well, I mean, we have men at arm counters, but they're rats. And then they would just reinforce. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we lose this. And I don't think there's much we can do about it. But, I don't think it's necessarily something we need, but... This made Thessalonica... Wait! I thought... Oh no, it's these guys that's, uh, that's attacking. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's some more, but... These aren't going to do much for us. Still need better champions. Oh, what? Why do we have two people that that's at five? What the shit? What? What is going on? Yeah, we... Okay, this is, doesn't make sense. It said seven. Oh! Oh. The Holy Order has two champions and they're absolutely garbage. That's why. Okay. Okay, I guess we go for one attempt here and see what happens. We're probably gonna lose unless we can win this quickly. No. No. Okay. This is this is over. The Ballad of the Garlic King. There's a story in our little town of a king with a garlic crown. To battle in the fields that he rode on a donkey, but his only success was against a small monkey. This cursed ballad has become a very popular has become very popular among wandering minstrels and the plebs alike. Way too popular for my taste, since I found out disturbing amounts of similarities between myself and its protagonist. But hearing it shamelessly sung in our own, uh, uh, sung in my own face by my courtiers Hildeberg is going too far. Oh shit! I have a fifteen percent uh, chance of becoming garlic king. Okay, yeah. So we lost. I think we surrender. No need to. Just drag this out longer than needed. 
That's life. So, we lost Threaded. But... I think we can... Oh, they've gotten more allies. Wait. Uh, oh, they... They ally with Venice. Hmm. That's annoying. <laughs> That's okay. They have a lot of levies in Venice. I got some good shit here. Man, Venice is going to be hard to take too. So... This, uh, I feel like this uh, campaign is, it started to look easy again, but then it's turned hard. <laughs> because it started hard, then it stayed hard, and then it, it felt like we were, we were good, we were on a roll, and we could conquer whatever we wanted around us, basically, but then it turned hard again. <laughs> I think we can beat Thessalonica when they're alone. And we bring in our people. I would love for them to break their alliances though. But. I don't know how we would accomplish that. Other than uh, people dying. But I don't know. Who. Uh, who uh, is family with who. For that alliance to break. But. With, with that crushing defeat. I think we're going to end the episode here. And next episode actually we can we can sneak this forward 10 days there we go next episode we're gonna write ourselves up and see if we can oh shit they've gotten stronger too so how hard would this be we can definitely call in some of our other allies at least because this guy will be available but yeah suddenly he's really strong mostly because of Venice okay so we'll see what happens things uh, got a little bit hairy so next episode we're gonna figure this out but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.